Hello and welcome back to Hearts Find 4 with our Italy campaign. And as you might have noticed, we're looking at a little bit of a different timeline. It's because I, on an advice of one of you, just redid the entire thing. So, um, I was a bit paved, if you might notice, in the last episode about what happened in this southern uh, Italy. Now, I... Got a, why don't you give me a suggestion? Why don't you just try to join the Entente instead of just uh, doing this on your own? I tried that. They refused. They were at war, and they were like, yeah, no, uh, we don't give a shit about you, Italy, so piss off. Which caused me to enter the war a little bit later, um, which actually was quite beneficial. I have, a lot, I have a lot more army right now, so I was able to easily hold off the French. Now, I did this by, first of all, shifting the armies around. These guys are defending, so they have... Uh, so that's fine to put them right here. This is also mostly mountainous area, so I just transferred my mountaineers down here. So... That's where we're at right now. So they have capitulated, but it's now partially owned by India and a little bit is owned by, I think, uh, who owns this bit here? Uh, India? Wait, this is impossible. Ah, this is confusing. I actually own a state. I can't do, sadly, um, the uh, proposed peaceful reunion because I already incorporated South, I mean, because I don't own all of it just yet. So we're going to need to wait for that, certainly enough. Anyway, we are, so far though, I do have control over the uh, area. So I'm kind of waiting till this guy pushes further up. And... Because this is still technically, I think, owned by the Socialist Republic. Because he still has forces here. But I want him to push up so we can just take and to push down. So we need about eh, a couple of forces here. So at least three quarters of that. Um, so let's take all of them to grey, and then one third can stay here, and this one can go, and let's see, so I keep the front line as like this as it is, because this is now owned, um, this is now held by Austrian troops, it's not really in my favour just yet. Uh, also, I was hoping that Germany would be able to do a little bit more pushing than I've done so far. But we finished the National Development Program in the meantime. Um, yeah, so let's get through the Academy of Sciences this time. Kind of kind of choose a little bit of a different path of everything, but uh, all in all, we're mostly in a very similar position as we were before. Now, this is not the efficiency that I would have liked, so... Ah, uh, we also dropped the stability at one point. Sadly enough, seems that um, world steel supply is a bit dwindling. Sadly enough, but hey, we are doing good. I'm actually working on support companies right now because I think the industry is getting to that point where we can afford them, so we might as well pick them up. Um, let's see. Now, it's only Germany, however, is actually losing against France right now. How they are doing that, I don't know, because Spain is on one end, uh, me on the other end, and Germany on the other end, and France is just holding itself, and it's, well, fairly impressive, to be honest. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, so far, it looks like this is just going to stay as it is. Okay, Ukraine's got a little bit of a rebellion going on. All right, well, we need some military equipment. We need some anti-air guns, mostly. Um, but still, France is trying to push in quite aggressively. Um, but yeah, that's kind of to be expected now, isn't it? Um, I want you to attack here, you to attack here, and a lot of you to support. Let's see if we can break through there. Probably not, but if you support here as well, no. France is, however, running into a, clearly into an equipment issue, so hopefully that will eventually lead in uh, positive results for us. Also, they seem to be ballsy enough to abandon front lines. Now that is ballsy. Uh, you can assist in this, these pushes. Actually, you don't have a war plan. Why don't you try to push towards the Pyrenees uh, area right here? 
There's one guy there and he's not doing anything. Come on, man, I wanted you to move. Uh, okay, anyway. Ah, well, whatever. We're gonna put everybody right there and gonna tell the deployment to do the same. You can deploy here on this army. There we go, we've still got the equipment for it now. Ukraine filled his little rebellion. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some uh, points here in, uh, by attacking France. France has actually got a lot of forces stacked on our border, which is uh, quite scary. So we've got to stop the attacks. Because I'm afraid by overstretching that uh, it might lead to trouble. Okay, so we've got some forces who probably have no orders. You can sit on this bit here. Right, stage one. The first part of an action for the program because of government making use of modern... Okay, good. So that comes from the uh, National Development Program. That's pretty good. Come on, Germany. You should be able to do this. You have done it before. And uh, so far the defending seems not to be the most difficult thing. Alright, you can just push in on the back of this. I think we should be able to... Okay, that attack failed. Oh, come on. We should have this easily. Um, very weird how the borders are looking right now. On one hand we're pushing in, on the other they clearly aren't. Okay, this is minus area, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, but this attack should succeed eventually. I was hoping that this would do a little bit better though. Alright, now it's going in our favour. This is a lot easier point to defend, so that's kind of why I want to push in there. This is, because I've got a river, I've got a mountain. It's kind of impossible to uh, to attack. Okay, so you're leaving Nice. Uh, if you would start attacking here, that means that we can take Nice. Stop the attack, that was just to take the city. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of board, a manual uh, control over all the attacks. Because uh, this is going to be like a slugfest and... Uh, I'd rather control my own slugfish. Now, this is a lot of forces that are stacked on this single lower front here. Like, yeah, we do have way too much here. Three will do. So, let's got 16 right there. And then there's a couple right here. Okay, well, uh... Why did you guys just move like that? Then, uh... Let's try to keep these, uh... Still at two. No, no, no. Uh, that only works if we take that one as well. Okay, no, that, okay, can hey, happen to you? Okay, you can actually support an attack, so let's do that. That kind of connects up our front lines again, it would be pretty good. Um, also, I kind of want these gentlemen out of there, so you can push in here, you can push in there. So let's see if we can take Marseille. Right, there you go. Um, divisions that were attached to that point. To view, you can get on the singular front line again, and yeah, I think it's time to start pushing the French. Germany has been pushing it aggressively. Um, I think it's also time that we start doing the same thing. Um, it's time to start clearing up the French, get as much war score as we can, and hopefully, uh, we can unify. Uh, oh, we got a bit of trouble down here. Right, you guys, go back down here and take this quickly. So that means stop what you're doing and transport yourself as quickly as you can right there. That means that you can stop what the fuck you're doing because uh, I don't think it's good to attack with half the army missing. We can at least clear that up. Right, field hospitals. We're not going to add them just yet because we're not producing... Um, the stuff for it just yet, so um, the support, the actual support equipment. Okay, you don't need to stand on German lines, that's silly. Uh, so you can go on these lines. 
All right. Um, All right, this should give us a little bit more. All right, stage two, the second part of the National Vatapo includes construction of so-called culture houses that will function as a way to boost the national pride. Okay, gets a national unity. Very nice, gets some research funding. Okay. Let's uh, take that real quick and... Uh, so the only thing we're not controlling is Sicily. Now, I might actually attempt to push... Oh, you dicks. Okay, we need to take this real quick. Okay, so sadly we didn't manage to do that. All right, um, you guys can go back to the regular front line and go like that. The two of you can push in. I think it's time that we put all 24 divisions right there because you don't have to defend the German borders here. Neither these two, so go and go. Unassigned divisions, got one Mountaineer division that can now go... Oh, come on. Give it to me. There you go. Okay, let's uh, see how far we can get with this and... Uh... Then it's just Britain, but I know from earlier experience that the Entente actually is hell-bent on landing forces, which is pretty good. We've got no basic divisions in training, that's fine, because right now I have no interest for that, as we are fighting and we're still a bit, little bit struggling on equipment. A little bit struggling on equipment, so uh, let's not train anything uh, just yet. I want a, I want a little bit of a uh, backlog of equipment. We've got a, enough artillery and infantry equipment, a little bit of motorized, but quite a lot of support equipment, that's pretty good. Um... So, yeah, let's get our motorized up and running. Get a uh, singular line of that. I'm producing a little bit of air, which is also pretty good. Like that, we've got a bit of a surplus, so uh, yeah, might as well. And uh, let's add them in on our more elite troops. Get a recon. Uh, yeah, that will work on you. That should also work. Oh, you already have the recon, so you'll get the field hospitals. And that's logistics. And uh, we'll eventually swap those in as well. Um, we had some industry speed ups we could do. Uh, yeah, we'll take construction. Get some more factories and everything. So the Republic of Italy has capitulated again. Okay. Well, what's the problem here? We're importing stuff from Germany which we're not getting. But I have a steel surplus anyway, so uh, right, we'll stop trading for this. But I do need a little bit more oil, and I do need a little bit more rubber. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. Do we own this state? We are the state controller, but we don't control this state, which is done by the Dominion of India as well as Italy. So we control two of the four required states to get full control of that one. 139 days for a bit of an advantage ahead of time, that's fine. That's fine with me. Alright, so... Uh, attacks into France, going pretty well. Italy is holding its own. So, I hope you guys don't mind that I did this, that I decided to um, redo a little bit of the work I did, because I was really pissed off at how things went, and... Oh, what the hell just happened? That's Central America. But I don't know who declared now what now. Uh, current wars. Yeah, that's this one. In... It looks like Argentina? Colombia, Sicily, Venezuela. Oh, that's right here. Okay, so Nicaragua, you've already United Provinces of America fighting against Central Centro America. Okay, go ahead. Have fun, you guys. Um, and we'll go to the School of Mass Combat. Now, we'll switch these guys out eventually for something better, but for now, this will do. All right, nice. Construction's here, so get more factories up and running. And yeah. Fairly happy with where we are. Producing equipment, finally, at a rate that we can be happy of. And uh, yeah. Okay, let's just go support equipment like that, 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 and that, and I should probably start looking into my Air Force at some point. Stage 3! We add a lot of building slots. Very nice. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so we're gonna cut off... Um, 
the uh, Entente advances here. You're gonna go to Bordeaux. Actually, I want you to go to the actual Bordeaux. As the construction program finished, got a lot of political power. That's very nice. And uh, yeah, got another research slot so we can uh, boost our industry further. Yeah, this little bit of a redo, just slowing down, just not jumping in as as soon as we did, was a great idea. And uh, to the, uh, you know, I want to thank the gentleman that suggested this because uh, we are here because of you. Now, it wasn't exactly as packed out as it, as you know, we didn't exactly join the Entente and something and, and that, but we did gain uh, a lot fa more favorable position in the uh, world now with this, uh, with our, cur our current position, it's just a lot better. Uh, go to that one. Go to that one. All right. There we go. Support that attack. You can also support that if you don't want to. Or if you want to. Hopefully we'll arrive before them. No, we didn't. Okay, so... Well, we still have cut him off, but I would like to get Bordeaux. That's more or less the idea. Uh, my forces have been attacking us for a while, so we, yeah, we are the ones that would get this. Uh, but we're not going to get the uh, little bit here. Uh, yep. Okay. Fall of Paris. Second World Krieg seems to come to a end. Very good. And we got that as well. Very good. Okay, that. And all of you go there. Very nice. And get the attacks up and running. Clearing out the rest of France should be a easy task. Emperor of... Oh, right. That is what happened. Kind of forgot. This is also something that happened in the background of my of the game. I Japan attacked the Russians, and apparently Mongolia and Russia are at war, as well as Mongolia and Japan. Mongolia is big, by the way. You're, that's a big guy. It's a lot bigger than I would normally see it. All right, but this should be the end of that. Now I want to take a quick little look at my fleet. We've got eleven destroyers. Should it go up to twenty-five? That's not up to 25. That needs uh, 14 more. And do I still have my light on my heavy cruiser? Still got my light on my heavy cruiser. Got two battleships. And, uh, yeah. Um, let's add one more battleship and we'll add a, add a, and we'll add a carrier eventually. Um, so uh, we've got at least one fleet. There we go. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very nice. So we just need to wait for the invasion, the inevitable invasion of England, which is not something that I'm most likely gonna do, as I don't have even done the research now in um, the forces required for that. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, keep on fighting and get as much uh, of that lovely war score as we can, and uh, hopefully we'll have enough to at least take the southern bit of Italy and. Uh, you know, get a bit of Roman expansion seems also be a bit nice, you know. Get back the, you know, make Italy, Italy again. We will, by the way, take triple, uh, Tripolitania at some point. They're not part of a faction, they are autocrats, so they shouldn't be able to join any faction. So let's keep that in mind, and uh, as long as they don't attack any Democrats. Oh, Middle Europa might... Nah, they won't be able to join Middle Europa. All right. Anyway, um, yep. Let's expand the Academy of Science. All right. Um, all of you, you can take that front line, and your you can all go right there. Go, take the final bits. Come on, France has capitulated, and that is it. All right. Um, you guys are gonna spend the time occupying this as much as possible, and you guys are gonna spend some time occupying the conquered French areas as far as we can, and try to keep down 
All right, liberate. Okay, so we control the southern half of France. North is out of reach, but we still need to find what the fuck just happened. Well, France just got liberated and f became a forceful part of Middle Europe, but they did control a bit of it. What if I would do this right now? Ah, uh, it doesn't work. Oh well, that sucks. That's something of Kaiserreich that really rubs me the wrong way, that these between-war events can sometimes go really weird. I think I actually lost territory here. Yeah, I think I did. Wow. France got back more territory than it initially had. I think? I don't know, actually. Looks like it, though, from my side of the uh, fence. I thought I owned some more, but... Uh... Okay, let's go back to... Uh... We're average. Let's go to good. Yeah, we dropped point stability. At least I kind of dig don't control enough for this, so I should have done that earlier, get that region, but apparently... Uh, I hate the fact that it's also become immediately part of Middle Europa. Just it doesn't seem to be... Wow, we just need all of us a lot of steel. I just lost, like... Most of my steel, just... Yeah, I think I literally lost a piece of land that used to be under my control. Part of it, at least. Oh, well. That sucks. Decryption. Well, at least we've... Uh, we can wait for a while because I kind of would like the I'd like the idea of having a high popular of a very high popularity. But I first need to uh, have enough um, points to do so. Okay, construction or oh, this excavation actually. What uh, sitting with a negative is a bad one. All right. All right, that's fully up to date. 51 days, that's also pretty good. And excellent. Got a little bit more popularity towards authoritarian Democrats. Nice. Got an extra research slots, and that's going to become the Marine Corps. And yeah. Let's see, is there anything interesting here, really? So it's become a republic? Nope. Um, well, this is kind of what I would like to do eventually. I really need to start some, putting some effort into my waterworks. I need better destroyers and everything. I need some oil. I need some more steel. All right, um, 1914 destroyer, light cruisers. Let's start with those. As well as aircraft, because I'm currently rebuilding mostly really outdated aircraft. I think I need to mix and match a little bit um, and get some proper aircraft in the air. But hey, so far I will call this uh, sort of a success. Um, uh, could get military access and start landing in England. What if I would? What if? What if we would be the ones that liberated England? Right? What? How would that work? Would we be able to do some one of these random flips of a nation, like liberate them? So we could have. Yeah, we could have liberated that. Our Cardinals has died. Okay. All right. Uh, let's take a look at naval. This is right now. So we could just train a full infantry, a full mili ah, a full division of twenty-four. All right. We're getting oil and everything. That's pretty good. Single oil factory in every state that we own. Oh, we actually own a little more. There we go. Okay. Let's put these up there. 
for now. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, getting about 30 factories would be, naval factories would be ideal. Support domestic car development. I'm working on navy and everything, so probably should get those researches. Okay, I lost a lot of factories, so let's rebalance this. And there we go. Uh, that one, that one. That's a good start. Uh, that changes some of it. A little bit of surplus of steel. Uh, we need just a little bit more oil. There we go. Right, time to get our navy up and running. We'll ask for military access in France, because we're going to use France as a drop-off point to getting into... Ah, shit. They're already here. Whose land it is? Um, I don't know. I actually don't know what color that is. But I would like to talk to the owner. That is Germany. Germany. Oh, wow. Ask for military access. Oh, crap. No, problem is, if I would let... I would, if I would conquer this from Germany's point of view, Germany would gain all the things. So that is not what we need. We need the research for Marines. Yeah, we really need them really bad. Just train you guys a little bit. I don't just need Marines. I need a lot more than just that, but... Let's start with Marines. Oh, come on. Can we get the final... Uh, there we go. Got any deficits in equipment? Still enter air guns. Okay, hopefully... England can fight them off uh, for now. 37 days. I'll train them by the 10. Alright, we'll get these guys fully upgraded. Um, sure, France. You can have that for now. At some point, we need to get a. You know, we need to retake everything but middle europa is now like seriously powerful and still peeved that we cannot join um a faction unless we use unless through a event no that's not gonna be it um france so we can trade with you light cruiser switch Boop. yep i will waste that production you don't know me well enough uh, heavy cruisers. They're not being built yet. Light cruisers are, so those are going to be important if they get swept, swapped as soon as possible. Okay, very good. Same goes for this. So, we have no real need to go heavy on these guys just yet. Alright, switch destroyers out. Good. And next up, that's too much ahead of time. I would really like to get my close air support upgraded. All right, I need eight more days to go start training Marines. Okay, England prevailed. Good, that's kind of what I'd like to see. National focus completed, Mediterranean Navy. Uh, let's see, trade interdiction, large Navy, fleet and being seems like a good one. I prefer the bonuses of that one. And we need a little bit more steel from France. Need a tiny bit more oil. And uh, okay, that's that's good. So we should be starting to trade oil and we know yeah, soon we won't need any more oil. Alright, so Marines get upgraded. Then we're gonna delete them. Edit this one. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Marines Marines. There we go. And then the field hospitals, there we go. So you're the same. I'm gonna change these divisions. Logistic companies and let's see, inventory, 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 remove, remove, and this will become artillery, anti-air. No, 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 artillery, artillery. 
No, no, anti-air, anti-air. Okay, we're gonna make you big. Bam. So you have enough of everything except anti-air guns, which will just need to ramp up production really high. So a little bit less of this, 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 and there we go. All right, get those anti-air guns. Um, shit, duplicate. Um, uh, I always forget that. That's just one of those things that just doesn't vibe in my brain well. I always forget to get the duplicate going. There we go. Well, oh, you were training anyway. Right, now train these guys. Um, 10, 2, add you. No. Train them at this rate. Actually, you could probably train them at 12. Right, there we go. Low priority. The upgrades are always priority first. And there we go. Good. All right. Let's get those guys trained. Very good. Now we're building a lot of refineries. They should eventually fix our oil and rubber problem. You have a lot of space for more factories anyway, so... All right, replace those fighters with these better fighters and replace those fighters with these better fighters eventually. There we go, there's our landing craft. It allows us to land with 40 divisions at a time. Um, it's pretty good, pretty good. Okay, now probably it's time to start investing in some doctrine uh, at some point, but uh, for now, not right. Did I mix up my land doctrine? No. No, I've. Ah, sometimes I've been running a multiple series at once. You kind of just start mixing certain bits up. Um, I'm probably going to go for division training real quick because I want this army up and running ASAP. Afterwards, we're probably going to use some. Um, Naval production, yeah, because I want to get the navy up and running as well. So, okay, one of our ministers has died. Well, that sucks to be you. Um, your harbor stays the same, I think. What are you? What are you flying from? Well, you're not from Toscana, at least. And uh, yeah, start hunting over there. Oh, we're going through some manpower, but uh, all in all, I think we're doing pretty good. Volunteer only. Yeah, we can go to limited conscription. Fine. Next points are going to spend on uh, very good stability. It says 200 points. Yeah, that would be nice. Get some more factories. Can't I just also... Yeah, I could go for war economy. Alright. Uh, we'll go for army training to get the army out of as soon as possible. Okay, our little navy is looking... Not as small anymore. Pretty good. Did I seriously got one destroyer that is destroyed? That sucks. There we go. Okay. So we're building heavy cruisers now. Crap, that means I need to start researching my heavy cruisers. Faster. Faster. Okay, you just stopped producing, so... Okay, we'll just have a bit of a surplus of factories for a while. I just need one, by the way. Instead of... Because these are built quickly. Um, yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, you don't have anti-air guns. High priority. We produce 10 a day? Wow. And you're training? So stop that. So we're bleeding mostly through training. Uh, what is our... We're gaining how many? 2.7. 
Well, that's not the amount of units that we're getting right now. We're getting a lot more than 2.7 units per day. Where are we at? Five. Yeah, okay. It's almost more like ten. Alright, Marines 2. Very nice. Uh, heavy cruisers. Oh, we can just go immediately for this heavy cruiser. Very nice. And... There is getting there. Naval dock. That's right. I forgot. We need to get rid right of these ground assault thingies. Light cruiser. Bam. Full production. There we go. Very nice. Okay, hey, soon I'm going to get start running on these uh, numbers any again. Um, one more here. I'll do that between episodes, actually. Okay, you're repairing. First of all, merge these guys. Your repair priority is not that high, buddy. Get the hell out of there. Start uh, patrolling the area. All right, you guys. Oh, you got the right color. That's perfect. Um, well, you'll do. You look like a guy that can do. Uh, oof. It's like he looks like a guy who knows a guy that knows how to do a naval invasion. And the rest of you go right there. That means that the regular army should probably just stack up right here. Get ready to. Uh, yeah, assisted landings, and um, well, I've got a couple of minutes left, so well, why don't we just uh, start balancing these numbers? All right, uh, military civilian needs to be five. Um, that's twenty here, so that's ten. Uh, that's up to ten. We got ten here. That's five. One, two, three. Okay, eighteen is nine. 16 is 8. 7 equals 4. 16 equals 8. So for those who don't know what I'm doing, I'm half of my factories. I want to be, at all times, be civilian. Gives you an industry to build a one. You can later switch them to military if you need them to any ways. So that's 7. 7... Five, seven, let's see, that's four, that's five, I will not build it here just yet, um, wow, that's a lot more than I was expecting, that is nine, and that is four, so yeah, this looks like what we're got going as an addition, after that is half uh, for a coastal half is gotta be normally um, if you need navy it's gonna be naval and the other half is gonna be military I don't think we need, need that much navy right of now okay so we're up to date here so get some battle fleet bonuses uh, this is submarine this is escort efficiency all right don't need that right now um, I do want to get my aerial units a little bit higher up there. You guys really need to get better at uh, formations. Okay, so so far so good. I think we have. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pronto. You're planning your naval invasions. Pretty good. All right, where's the rest of you? Training. How long will it put ready? August. Ugh, it's late. Gonna wait for that though. It seems England is having its shores fairly well defended. Uh, well, I wish I could, you know, could station some aircraft here, but... Uh, the Catholic Workers' Movement. Let's see. Combined Catholic Workers get political power. Okay, so the Royal America is over and has reached 
the Vatican about the rise of the Catholic Workers' Movement. The movement is an empathetic Catholic, but also empathetic anarchist movement. The growth of the Catholic Worker Movement is concerned with the Vatican leadership who view it as a deviating from the Catholic doctrine. However, despite this, most think that the best way to handle it is to ignore its most pious Catholics will stay true to the Church's teachings, while others think the encyclical against the movement should destroy it in the crib. While a small few think supporting the movement can allow the Catholic Church to turn it away from syndicalism as a force for good. Mm. So this would increase radical socialists and radical democrats, not really in our favor. Paternal autocrats and social democrats, that is a lot better for us and or we just ignore the movement like this and get a lot of political power. Well, let's piss them off. There we go. I think pissing them off is a far better idea. What about the government? Uh, yeah, we'll go to war economy. Is it war economy? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Next up is the stability. Average popularity. Ah, uh, crap. Mm. Well, I have no carrier research done ever, so let's start with that. 91 days, that's fairly quick actually. Probably should get some heavy equipment manufacturers soon. Artillery, towed artillery enter. Oh, this would be really nice actually to have. Let's see, you know, we'll go probably go for Light tanks, light tanks, motorized. I don't know right now what I'm gonna do, but I know what I'm gonna do is get at least more subsidiary carrier rules. Okay, let's try this invasion. Um, that means I do need my fleet here to be on convoy escort. Okay, so they've got our entire coastline pretty well defended. Yeah. Okay, just stop that attack for now. Okay. So I'm gonna try a different spot. Um, I think what we gotta do is land from a different point. This one usually is pretty well defended. So, naval invasion from here, right up here the northern bit. It usually is a bit of undefended territory. Uh, but he's got about 200 divisions there on the main ground, so yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Anyway, with that, I'm actually going to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.